Hello beautiful people of the world, in this video I will discuss briefly on orthodontic functional appliance. Number 1. Activator, also called Norwegian Appliance. Developed by Vigo Andersen in 1908. Active tooth borne appliance, now have little or no place in modern orthodontics and are used much less than previously used in, class 2 division 1, class 2 division 2, class 3 malocclusion, class 1 open bite and class 1 deep bite. Number 2. Bionator, developed by Wilhelm Balters in 1960. Passive tooth borne appliance, always removable, uses in dental arches well aligned, mandible in posterior position, skeletal discrepancy not severe, labial tipping of upper incisors evident. Number 3. Twin block appliance, developed by William Clark in 1977. Passive tooth borne appliance, usually removable but can be fixed. Separate upper and lower plate. Use in Class 2 Division 1 malocclusion. Class 2 Division 2 malocclusion. Anterior open bite. Number 4. Reverse twin block appliance. Modification of standard twin block use in Class 3 malocclusion. Number 5. Frankel appliance. Or Frankel functional regulator. Developed by Rolf Frankel in 1950s. Tissue borne passive appliance. Use in Class 2 Division 1. Class 2 Division 2. Class 3 malocclusion open bite and bimaxillary protrusion cases and can be used with headgear in patients with high mandibular plane angle and vertical maxillary excess number six harb appliance developed by harb in 1934 tooth borne passive appliance fixed to the teeth and less airway blockage used in skeletal class 2 malocclusion number seven jasper jumper introduced by jj jasper in 1980 relatively new flexible fixed tooth borne functional appliance. Actions similar to Herbst appliance but lack rigidity. Use in skeletal class 2 malocclusion with maxillary excess and mandibular deficiency. Number 8. Oral screen. Introduced by Newell in 1912. Removable appliance placed in the anterior vestibular region. Use in correction of habit of thumb sucking, lip biting and tongue thrust. Correction of mouth breathing. Mild disto occlusion and flaccid orofacial musculature. Number 9. Vestibular screen. Introduced by Newell in 1912. Removable appliance made of 2 to 3 mm thick acrylic or thermoplastic material. Occupying the vestibule and extending posteriorly to the distal margin of the last erupted molar. Does not contact teeth as compared to oral screen. Use in correction of habit of thumb sucking, lip biting and tongue thrusting, cheek biting. Correction of mouth breathing mild disto occlusion, mild anterior proclination, and correction of hypotonic lip and cheek muscles. Number 10. Bite plate. A removable appliance similar to the retainer. Need to wear 24 hours except during eating and cleaning. Used to correct deep bite. And to correct anterior crossbite. Number 11. Lip bumper. U-shaped. Combined removable fixed orthodontic appliance. Used in mixed dentition. Used in both maxilla and mandible to protect the lips away from the teeth. Use. 1. Lip sucking patients. 2. Hyperactive mentalis activity. 3. To augment anchorage. 4. Distalization of first molars. Number 12. Tongue crib. An interceptive habit breaking appliance. Used to correct thumb sucking habit. To correct tongue thrusting habit and can be used as part of removable appliances in patients with unilateral or bilateral posterior open bite. Thank you very much for your patience watching. Please like, share and subscribe.